There are three main types of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. The rock cycle has six steps. Weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation, and lithification. Weathering is when rocks and minerals decompose, break down, or dissolve on the Earth's surface. Erosion is the process that happens after weathering, when rocks and minerals that got broken down, dissolve, or decompose get eroded by wind, water, ice, and more. Compaction is when sediment build up and pressure increases on the lower layers of sediment as extra water is forced or squeezed out. Deposition is the laying down of sediments carried by wind, water, ice, etc. from erosion. In cementation, precipitation is the binding of materials around grains as pores fill with sediment. Lithification is the last step in the rock cycle before it repeats, and is when loose grains and sediment are converted into rock. The Rock Cycle Around the World The Great Sphinx is a large sculpture located in Giza, Egypt, made of a rock called limestone. Limestones are sedimentary rocks. There are many types of sedimentary rocks including sandstone and shale rocks. Sedimentary rock is a rock that is composed of many other small individual pre-existing rocks and or pieces of once living organisms and goes through the rock cycle. Workers carved the well-known sphinx from a huge piece of limestone instead of assembling it piece by piece. Mount Rushmore is a national memorial sculpted with the faces of U.S. presidents on it in Black Hills, South Dakota. Made of granite, granite is an igneous rock. The granite rock, which was soon to be Mount Rushmore, was first sculpted by blasting away tons of rock with dynamite. Later, workers hung from swinging seats high enough to reach the rock and then drilled pieces away using jackhammers, drills, and even hammers. Giant's Causeway is made of a rock called basalt. Basalt is an igneous rock that goes through the rock cycle just like sedimentary rock. The formation consists of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, most of which are in the shape of hexagons. The columns form huge stepping stones and can be as high as 39 feet and can reach all the way down to sea. Evel's post pile is made of basalt as well. It began as a lake of lava. The lava flowed down the valley like a river until it was blocked by a natural dam. The lava began filling the valley behind this dam, creating a lava lake around 400 feet deep in some areas. Devil's post pile is made of igneous rock. The Grand Canyon is a well-known landmark made of many types of sedimentary rocks all of which go through weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation, and finally lithification. Before the Grand Canyon is what it is today, the Rocky Mountains of the entire Colorado Plateau rose up from tectonic activity. Around 6 million years ago, waters rushed off the rocks that formed the very strong and powerful Colorado River. As the plateau rose, the river cut into it carving the canyon over time. Rainbow Bridge is a natural rock formation located in Utah and is hundreds of millions of years old. It's made of sandstone, a sedimentary rock, another rock that goes through weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation, and lithification. It was formed by water flowing through a creek and eventually, sandstone layers got weathered away and the arch of the rainbow bridge was made over time. 